It's not making a sound, so I don't know if it's recording. Hold on. Motherfucker. Hi, it's Andrea Dancing Star, and I'm reading about an abdominal anatomy and physiology, and I said I would do a reading on Tuesday. I did a reading yesterday. I'm going to do a reading today, too. Tuesday. Hopefully... I'm going to be able to capture some of my beautiful artwork behind me. Uh, let's read for Aquarius because it is a leap year. It's a leap year. And, you know, this is not going to be a long reading like the last one at all. Um, but, yeah, let's just see. I've got the Vice Versa deck. Why? Because I don't want to start with that. You know what? I had it to begin with. Let's go with it. Um. Yeah, let's see. What, what card can we give... Aquarius what can we tell Aquarius right now with this vice versa deck for this leap year 2024 year of the dragon leap years happen every four years and it's 2024 two plus two is four and then there's another four so there's an eight nine ten eleven twelve one plus two is three 229, 29, 10, 11, 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 2, fucking A, another 4. Whew. I don't know what that whole noise was about. I've never made that noise in my life, honestly. Um, okay, that's a lot of 4s, a lot of foundation, a lot of corners. Um, four directions. Okay. Tell me something amazing for Aquarius for this leap year. Tell me something amazing. I mean, besides the fact that Aquarius is amazing, but tell me something amazing. Communication. Uh, I am communicating, but communication. Communication. Lightning communication. Oh, Kidoki. And the Six of Wands celebrations. Ooh, and the moon. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Lots of cancer energy. But also there's like this celebration. There's kind of like been a really big war. You're coming out of battle. You're communicating. Someone's communicating this to you. Oh, wow, there's like a Pegasus in the sky. I like that. It's a white horse with wings. I mean, it's a Pegasus. It's a Pegasus in the sky. There's lightning. There's a storm. Uh, lightning fast communication, you know, um, it's fire, it's electric, it's Aquarius, Aquarius is electric. Quite obviously, there's a serious battle that Aquarius has been fighting. There's a lot of people, there's a whole like army that listens to you. There's people that are cheering you on. You've led them to victory. You've led yourself to victory. So by leading yourself to victory, you're leading other people into victory as well leading by example cancer energy though it's good nice cancer energy nice feminine moon energy you know you've got a little bit of mystery about you you've got a little bit of intrigue about you um the crab carries his home with him so i'm gonna go ahead and say Maybe people are intrigued at the fact that, you know, you kind of keep your home and you have everything all together with you, you know, kind of like very functional. You know, you don't need a lot of the everything else that everybody else has. That's the one thing about crabs, you know, they can pick up and move and do whatever they want if they should so choose to. If they deem their environment not safe, they'll leave. And they will make a nice home wherever they go. There was a black dog. No, there wasn't. There was a red dog and a white dog. Red and white. Red is kind of like the color of blood. It's not kind of like the color of blood. It is. Um, white. So they're both creation. Blood, if you want to get like esoteric, symbolically, blood is life. Because, you know, menstrual fluid, menstrual cycle. White dog, white color of semen coming together procreation you know coming together bump bump 
<laughs> this is maybe going to have to be an, an R-rated reading. Um, if you get it, you got it. If you got it, you get it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's life force energy creation, procreation, meeting together, loyalty, because the dog is all about loyalty. Loyalty. The two dogs were sitting right to each other and they were looking at the moon. And they weren't wolves. They're dogs. Loyal to man, man's best friend. So obviously they're going to be, it, it's this loyalty to your fellow man. Of course, this is Aquarius energy. There's a big cancer influence. It's almost like, I don't know, are you like, do you have a cancer in your life that is kind of almost like, I don't want to say you're equal, but who actually gets you. It's a possibility. There's loyalty. There's also calm waters. So calm emotions. Being in control of the emotions. Communicating. Nighttime though also. Nighttime communications. There's little leaves that are growing on those wands. Magical communications. Like from the gods, from up high, because of Pegasus, a white horse. I didn't say a pale horse, I said a white horse. Oh, that was fun. Oh, we just had a full moon too. Okay, so tell me more about this leap year for Aquarius. Tell me about this. Like a partnership. Contracts balanced. Somebody was feeling all tied up. Somebody's feeling like they don't have any options. Like they can't reach for help. Like they can't let go. They can't break free. There's a balance there. There's a balance that's coming. Maybe there's just like a cancer that you need to communicate with and you need to maybe like lean more into. Because maybe they can help. Maybe they help you and you don't quite realize it. Maybe you do realize it. Maybe you help them and they don't realize it as much. There's definitely reciprocity. Hanged man and death. Okay. Someone is kind of like, you know, the hanged man, he hangs upside down by his... He hangs by his left foot, which is his dream foot, his dream side. So he bends his right leg, which is his action taking, you know, in reality leg. So he's not even using it. He can't use it. Can't do anything, not taking any action in reality. That's the symbolism, symbolism there. He's only in tune with his intuition. He's only in tune with a totally different perspective. He's looking at, he's totally inverted himself, gaining a completely different perspective. He's taken away his ability to do anything, to take any kind of action in reality in order to achieve this. That would be called a sacrifice, you know? Eight of Cups reversed. Somebody wishes that they hadn't walked away from something. Oh, it's almost like you're trying to gain my cards smell like so much incense it's so good I love it it's so cool the Sun Leo energy but happy energy not carrying around burdens anymore it's almost like you're like helping each other to let go of burdens and to grow and to be happy to realize that maybe the things that you lost but weren't things that you needed to keep, you know, like better things are coming. The sun is rising. Justice. Death. Scorpio energy. Transformation. You know, this is a white rose, a white rose, pure rose. This is so much knowledge, ever unfolding knowledge. Excuse me. ever unfolding knowledge, ever unfolding transformation. Um, this is like 
I just heard like the sorcerer's stone, you know, this is alchemy. This is taking something that was horrible, that was sad, that was weighing you down, that was deadly, that was murky, that had you trapped and transforming it into beautiful intuition, knowledge, and wisdom. And doing it the right way. You're not doing it wrong. Tell me more about this cancer energy. Tell me more about this cancer energy. Nine of pentacles, ace of rods. Cool. Okay, so she can take care of herself. She's good. She's good. She's got it going on. She can take care of herself. She's independent. She's got money. She's got a bird. She's taking some action. The sun, complete happiness. Yeah, there's something to do with this cancer energy that's taking some kind of action. It's beautiful. She's helping. She's helping. Taking some kind of creative action. Being guided. From the sky. From the gods. From the most high. You know, whatever you believe, whatever she believes. I say she because there's just too much feminine energy going on here. <sighs> it just doesn't have to be she. It could be a guy who's very much in, in tune with their, their feminine side. But, oh, they're communicating. So what is the Eight of Wands? Tell me the Eight of Wands. Balancing of the scales. Strength reversed is behind that. I'm going to say that if there's anything where you're feeling weak or maybe not strong enough, maybe this cancer energy was feeling weak. This energy right here, typically I kind of see this as, I mostly see this as bully energy, but right now I'm really seeing it as someone who feels like they're not in their own power, like they don't recognize their own power. They don't see their own strength. They don't see how they could be gracefully strong and divinely guided. And there's this communication that's kind of, ooh, we had justice just a minute ago and now we have the six of pentacles. There's scales. There's a lot of scales. There's a lot of balance. There's a lot of giving and then someone else equaling what you give. Aquarius tends to give a lot and not receive a lot. That's going to be changing. That is changing. There's a person that's going to match you. And it's beautiful. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Anything else for Aquarius right now? Anything else for Aquarius right now? I mean, this, I told you, it wasn't going to be very long. Okay. I really do think... There was some kind of... I don't know. There was some kind of a lie. There was some kind of a deception. And I really do think someone is going to be balancing the scales. Someone is going to be balancing the scales. Wherever you've been putting tons of time and effort into something... Okay, have you ever heard that when you chase something all the time, it runs from you? And have you ever noticed how, like, if you're always trying to get something, you can't ever quite get it, but then once you stop paying attention to it, it all comes to you? I see the moon again, right there. It's like you stopped trying in a certain situation where there were lies, it may really have something to do with Leo because we had strength card and also the sun. You quit that. Eight 
it it was just taking up your energy so that's i guess kind of like why it was there was just to take up your energy and you were smart you go obviously aquarius is very intelligent but you stopped now there's someone coming in that's actually you know it's it's the scales are going to be balanced they're going to be tipped back into your favor if they've been tipped out of your favor for any amount of time there's happiness yeah again like i said you stop doing it you stopped doing it. You realized it was just wasting your time, wasting your energy. You're moving on. Once you stop trying that person or that situation, I don't know what it was, the universe. I don't know exactly what the situation is, but they felt that energy. They felt you stop giving them energy and taking off on your own excitement, your own path. Black and white, two and two, crescent, crescent, cancer energy. Lots of it. Interesting. Fun. Okay, so good things are coming for you, Aquarius. Good things are coming for you. Um... And it's legit. It's legit. It's not like fake good. Like so many things in your past have been. It's legit good. <sighs> okay. This has been Andrea Dancing Star. With a very, very, very special Aquarius reading. In the middle of my studies of abdominal anatomy and physiology.